Hello. And first of all, thank you, Emmy Lotto. This is your idea, so I am doing it. I am unboxing Marilyn Henry's Paper Doll Collection one box at a time. The first box I opened was this one because it started with um, a ripped box when it arrived. So I wanted to just get everything out, make sure it was okay to begin with. So everything is already out of this box. So starting out, we have some vintage, well, newly vintage paper dolls from the, looks like 80s and 90s. And then this was fun. This is a whole bunch of um, pre-cut uh, movie star sets from the early 40s. So let's go through these quickly. Betty Grable, Gloria Jean. Um, this is Jane, Jane Withers. And so let's move on because I got a lot of these and you can see they're all cut nicely put into the folders they're all from the vintage books and then this one did not get put in a folder so somebody lovingly put these all in folders and put movie star uh, photos on top so we have a little bit of the newer a little bit of the older and then oh my gosh all right, I'm just going to take a big stack and see what we have here. So this is a Denison doll that someone has already put together. Oh, I like that. Great paper doll. So these are some cut things. So I have never seen this doll. It is... Mm, oh, just it says googly-eyed baby. That's funny. Uh, more Denison's. These are pretty cool with fabric dresses and someone, and here's the original pieces to it with crepe paper and uh, someone has already put some of the dresses together. More cut things. The Dolly Dingle series. Oh, more, more Dolly Dingle stuff. Here are some just magazine pages. I think I'm gonna move these out of the way a little bit so I've got some place to put this other stuff. More cut things. Cut things. Oh, these are Jane Withers outfits that look very cute. And these are just a bunch of cut outfits here, which look very nice. I'm not, which, not sure which set they're from. Oh, these are uh, little um, cut out animals, maybe from a circus. That looks nice. Jackie and Caroline Kennedy, magic wand. Hmm. All, all cut out. Uh, more cut things. Little Women, I would say, yes. Uh, Betty Bonnet cut out. What's this? You know, if I knew my older sets better, I could name all these, and I'm sure there are a lot of people that could, but these are just more miscellaneous cut things. Um, here's something probably from the 80s. This is um, Kathy Lawrence's beautiful owl set. This is, looks like it is from another land, yes, Denmark. So, they're stand-up sets, but I don't know what else goes on with them. They're vinyl. And we've got some, I need to go faster because we're going to be here all day going through these. Um, this is a Peggy Jo Rosamond. This is like what her... This is the one of the very first ones she did. Oh my goodness, with Athena Publishing. They're like on watercolor paper. What? So you can color them yourself. Huh. Nice. Hmm. Okay, more Peggy Jo Roseman things. Oh, here's another one of those uh, foreign dolls. And then we've got some Shackman books. They're all in good condition. 
the crumpled torn box did not seem to damage these. This looks like a colored copy of a, of a book. So that is got a few more things here. More Shackman. Oh, I like these Shackman embossed sheets. I've never seen this one. Edith and Edward. Oh, you know what? It's not vintage. Susan Beebe did these. Oh, I met her. She actually lives in Maine. Oh, come on, bushy tail wedding. Oh. Okay, so anyway, let's see a bunch of uh, um, Shackman sheets. They did so many. I do not even remember seeing some of these. Um, baby Jean. Somebody was looking for Baby Betty, I think, earlier today. So, hey, I didn't know you could get these in a fold out. Hmm. Got a couple of those. Alice in Wonderland. Marilyn was a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. Mary Pickford. So, more Shackman. More, oh, more cutouts. These are just limited sets, though, but they're nicely, nicely done. Here's a, looks like some wedding. Little Jane Withers. Ooh, here's a baby with eyes that open and shut. She looks a little ill. Uh, more pre-cut stuff. Partly cut set. Oh, Marilyn loved this so much. She had this in a recent issue of the magazine about frogs. This is a John Darcy Noble, and oh, oh my gosh, what a treasure. The little cottage, all the little frogs and things. Oh, oh that's just wonderful. Let's put this back away here. This is a nice way for someone to to do a set before easy easier access to printing, you know, to put it in a nice presentation, cutting a little cover on top of an envelope. So, oh, this was the biggest surprise of the entire box. And I have not really looked thoroughly at everything already. I did kind of a quick glance through, and this is the thing that really surprised me. So, um, this is... It says Lou's Barbara, so I'm going to say this is Lou Valentino. So I never knew anything about this. It's printed. I don't know who printed it. So beautifully, beautifully drawn and illustrated. So only just the doll is in color, and then here she is in black and white. So everything else is in black and white. So I really don't know if he just did this on his own. I don't know if he did it with Jean Maiden. But this was a real, a real treasure in this bunch. So I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. Oh, this is a color copy of Deanna Durbin. Here's a Helen Page. Some color copies of her work. Here's some color copies of more vintage things. Fashion shop. These are more color copies of vintage things. Here is oh, this is a Helen Page Beauty and the Beast. Oh goodness. Oh, this is really nice. So this is a fun find. Okay. Oh, this is another surprise. I don't know who this is. Uh, somebody named Glorian looks like g-l-o-r-i-g-n glorin uh from 1975 1975 mary tyler moore and this is um it seems original to me but could it be maybe it's a copy i don't know i guess i guess if it's a copy I think. Let's see if we can see through any of these pages. Oh, look, you can see the ink through it. This is an original set somebody did of Mary Tyler Moore. Yes. Huh, this is very good. I hope you can see all of this. If this is an original Mary Tyler Moore book that a mystery person has done, huh? 
I'm loving this dress. I love everything about this. This is one where I don't know how, how to price this. I don't know where to sell it. I think it could, you know, go high or relatively high on Amazon. I mean, on eBay, if people had a chance to um, um, bid on it. This is a sheet about Barb Roush. Is this by Barb Roush? Nope, this is by David Zerlin. Oh, no, that's not Barb Roush. So anyway, here is Diana Ross with an outfit. This is a Gone with the Wind reproduction and some more Shackman sheets. Oh my goodness gracious, another Barbara Streisand set by Lou Valentino and someone has partially cut this out. Hmm. And Peggy Jo, very nice. Okay, so we've gone through one bin. I put everything into a plastic, two plastic bins from that one box. That box held a lot, a lot. So let me get some of these things out of the way. Okay, now the rest is Oh, this is something kind of neat. Oh, wait, there's something left behind here. We didn't see this. Oh, Barb Roush. What? Wow, her work is good, good, good. Zorro. Oh, I guess it goes in here. And Ramona. Oh, that slip of paper must have fallen out of there. It was uh, on the back of, must be on the back of uh, Zorro. So I will put that back together in that box. Okay, this, it looks like a, like a printer proof from um, Southfield. And it's kind of fun to see, see things like this, friend of star, the glory outfits. Ooh, love them. Okay, one thing there. And here is a play theater. What is this? Hmm. I don't know. It's Jack and the Beanstalk, and I don't know what this little thing is here. I'm going to set it aside so I don't crush whatever that is. And, oh, here's something of Sandy's from a convention, I think, once upon a time. She wrote a nice little note to Marilyn on the top. Fun cartoon, newspaper, cutouts, more old pre-cut stuff. Bear oh, I think these might just be fashion ladies. Oh my gosh, I know who's going to want those. Ooh, they're so pretty. Oh, this is, oh, come on. I love this era so much. Oh, and look, there's a little teeny, teeny little people in here. Look how cute that is, so tiny. Okay, that's fun. More pre-cut stuff, and then this is more pre-cut. And now we have more current things, like 80s and 90s. Um, just a variety of stuff. I don't know how to do this. I don't know if I should group them, if I should price them individually, if I should put them on my website to sell, if I should try to sell them all through the Facebook group. I mean, this is just one box. So some of these things I have never seen and some I have seen a lot of. I actually was looking for these for an article we're doing coming up. So I'm glad we found these Hollywood dollies of the silent screen stars. These are more Shackman reproductions, some Dover books, Dover, Dover. I have all these, so I do, do not need them for my own collection, but they are all out of print. These are more Shackman. A lot of people look for the Dion Quince. These are long out of print. This is an entire set of five. So keep, 
people will be happy to get a hold of those. Oh, you know, these baby ones are out of print. And we have some more, uh, the Hopper family, these big sheets are fun. Oh, Mary Pickford in a big sheet. Alice in Wonderland, again, one of Marilyn's favorites. Mm, that's cute. I've never seen that, those little, little outfits. Um, oh, huh. More silent screen star things. Owl family. And I think that brings me down to the end, and it's... Just a bunch of pre-cut stuff. Uh, Liz Taylor. You know, these are probably, they look mostly from the 40s. Oh, I love this little girl. And then we've got some big eyed dolls that are cut out and a pre-cut magazine sheet, it looks like. And then a little doll with the uh, Maybe costumes from many lands, perhaps. So, oops, one more thing. What's this? Oh, a little Boy Scout all cut out. So, that's it. Box number one. 31 more boxes to go.